Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to Daz Reaction. Today, I have a Ricky Gervais reaction video for you. And this is when things are called an act of God and what cl what's classed as an act of God, really. So I, I got a feeling that, that Ricky's going to be very funny in this one. That I like watching Ricky Gervais as a stand-up comedian. I never really liked watching him in the office. And I've watched a couple of his movies. Some of them have been okay, some of them not. And I liked his cameo role that he'd done in Family Guy as the Dolphin. So, yeah, I'm hit and miss with Ricky Gervais. But that's never the case with his stand-up. I really do enjoy his stand-up. And I like that he just he has a no-nonsense attitude as well. So, yeah, that's always a good thing. And I'm interested to hear what he's got to say in this. So I'm going to get straight into it. If you're a fan of Ricky Gervais and there's any other of his stand-ups that you want me to react to let me know in the comments down below and please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button it does help but until then let's get into this that's my problem i didn't cancel though i did don't you hate that when an artist cancels you turn out it goes concert cancelled due to sore throat oh or i couldn't go on i was depressed oh poor little artist oh can you imagine a laborer trying that <laughs> turn out going i've got a little ticker when i'm fed up oh move the fucking bricks mate <laughs> <laughs> Never cancel. I had a, a gig in Dublin uh, a couple of months ago, okay, and as you know, Dublin is in Ireland, which is off the, yeah, it's off the coast of um, Great Britain. It's not part of Britain, but it's, it's very close. It's sort of like our Cuba, I suppose. It's like, um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think the people in Ireland are going to be, like, happy about being, like, referred to as, like, the Cuba of the UK. <laughs> And, um, and so, okay, so Dublin O2 Arena, 10,000 seats, sold out well in advance, flights booked, really looking forward to it. A few days before the gig, they start grounding the aeroplanes because there's a volcanic ash cloud over Britain, okay? And if you fly through it, apparently it'll make the plane fall out of the sky. And it was like, that was it, you couldn't fly in that. I mean, a volcano goes off in Iceland. And we can't, but oh, what's the point of Iceland, really? I mean, <laughs> what are they, fi just fill in all the volcanoes with concrete, okay? <laughs> just, in fact, tarmac the whole country and make it a car park for real Europe, because it's a waste of fucking space, okay? But, but, ya yeah, ya yeah, ding dong. <laughs> if, if you've seen the Eurovision film with Will Ferrell, you'll get that reference. And so, I'm thinking, well, I've got to get there. I, I can't cancel. Uh, and um, there were sort of pop stars and people coming over from America and they were cancelling their flight because they couldn't get in and out. I thought, I can't. So I hired a helicopter to and from Dublin. It cost me £12,000, right? Just because I couldn't bear to let anyone down or take the ferry. That was... <laughs> <laughs> um, they were still running, sure. Um, but that would have meant mixing with the general public and I don't... <laughs> this is about as close as I ever know. So, um, <laughs> I don't know if you're affected by the volcanic ash cloud, um, but I had friends that were stuck all over the world and they missed weddings and funerals and they had to put themselves up in a hotel for extra days that they hadn't budgeted for and they couldn't get their money back because the airlines were saying, no, we can't pay you because the insurance companies won't pay us because they're saying it's an act of God. Well, what isn't an act of God? No, if you believe in God, that's sort of a definition of him, isn't it? That he does everything. Isn't that right? Everything is an act of him. He's all-powerful. He's everywhere at once. He invented everything. There was nothing before him. He invented time, everything. He's across it all, okay? He doesn't miss a trick, and he's not absent-minded. A volcano going off isn't like him going, fuck, I left the oven on. You know, it's... <laughs> And who are these insurance companies that can decide what is and isn't an act of God? How do they know, okay? Have they got a hotline to God? They call him up, do they? Ring, 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 ring. Yellow. Uh, could I speak to God, please? Speaking. Oh, I didn't think you'd answer the phone yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> oh, um, that volcanic ash cloud. Uh, was that you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that was an act of me, all right. <laughs> so I shouldn't pay out. No, don't fucking pay him a penny, son. No. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. While I've got you here, um, did you make a tree fall on Steve Baxter's car? There's a lot of Steve Baxters. Um, Steve Baxter, to Acacia Road, Hounslow. It happened at 2.15 on the 3rd of June this year. 2.15, 3rd of June. No, that wasn't me. 
I was in Africa that day giving AIDS to babies. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I do like Ricky Gervais's stand up. Like it is the case that like it'll just leave you to the point where you just like <laughs> how, did, how did you get from like pretending to be God to like talking about like a tree falling into someone's car and then get like ending with that? It's just messed up. But I do I really, really do like Ricky Gervais and that for everything that I've watched of his stand-up, I I can't sit here and say that I've watched a full stand-up show of his because I haven't. There's a lot of comedians that I haven't. And in, in one way, it's a bad thing, but in another way, it's a good thing because a lot of these reactions that I'm doing of his are all first-time reactions. So it, it is a good thing in that way. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing more. And that's where you guys come in. If there's any other Ricky Gervais that you want me to react to, like... The, the more brutal, the better, to be fair. I really do like them. They really do make me laugh. So if there is any more, let me know in the comments down below and I look forward to doing them. But until next time, thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time, take it easy. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Be kind. And I will see you in the next one.